Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Yay! I told you I have a whole bunch of things to show you guys that are new and I want to show you so you can go out to your Dollar Tree and see if you can find some of these great buys. All right, let's jump right in because one of the things I want to show you I'm so excited about. All right, so I did get these before the little troll um blind bag type things they're in these little plastic cases and apparently they're little finger things and i'm sh i'm opening this now because i want to show you guys what's inside because i'm a little curious myself so let's open this up and see what's inside all right so you rip the packaging off and you get what do you get? What do you get? You get a little checklist. Okay. And then this is what you get. Okay. This little plastic thing. Because I was excited to... I read the outside of the package. So I was kind of excited to open this. So you open it up like this. And oh my gosh, you guys. It's a pair of glasses. The case turns in to a pair of glasses. Can you stand this? Can you stand how cute, stinking cute this is? All right, so it unfolds and it's a pair of glasses. All right, let's check this out. How do you like my new shades? Don't you love it? So the packaging is a pair of glasses. Like, how cool is that? The kids are going to love these. I love them. So, so cool. And then they, you could just, they snap together and you can fold them back up. And it closes up into a little thing again. And this is what you get inside. It's a little package. We're going to open this up. Hopefully I can open it up. I don't have my scissors right in reach, but we're gonna try to open this. We're trying to open it. All right, I know I shouldn't do this, but there we go. Whoa! All right, so you get, what do you get? You get this little creature. Okay, so you get this little guy right here, and you get this little ring. I'm trying to show this without showing the whole paw, big paws here. And there's a little spot on the back right here where you poke the ring in. And then his little hair, be cute. And then you can wear him. My, they don't fit on me, but the kid can wear it on their finger as a little ring. How cute is that? And it's got this little hair, long hair, don't care. So that's what you get. You get this little ring. He feels like he moves. Oh, I see his body. His body moves back and forth. See? Do, 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 do. And when they're done playing with it, they just open up their little eyeglasses and they can put them in there. Well, hopefully they can put them in here. Oh, probably not with the ring thing on them. Okay, so you take the ring thing back off and you can put them back in the eyeglasses. Like, how cool is that? They get two toys in one. I love it. Yeah, I read the packaging and it was like, um, comes with a set of glasses. See the kid with the glasses on and she's got the little things on her fingers. And it looks like these are the ones that you can get. Oh, and this little girl's wearing them in her hair. So how cool are these? So this is what they look like when they're in the package. 
and they have the plastic on them or whatever, but how cool is that? Caroline's gonna love these. And I got a few, so I'll probably give some to Madeline as well, because they both like trolls. Very, very cool. Then I found these um, little Jurassic Park figures. They're micro collection, they're by Mattel, so they're brand name. And I found uh, the Triceratops. I'm trying to show this without the reflection. And then there is a Velociraptor blue. So if you have kids that are into dinosaurs, these are Jurassic, I said Jurassic Park, but it's Jurassic World. And then there is the Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. I don't know. Can't pronounce it. I know there's another one and I couldn't find it. My store only had these three. But if I find it, I'm going to get it. Um, I think it's a Triceratops, if I'm not mistaken. But... <clears throat> these are the three that they have out there if you have uh, like little boy grandkids or children and they're into dinosaurs Mattel Jurassic World toys I got them because you know um, I have some nephews that are into uh, dinosaurs or if I don't give them to them there I can you know put them in toys for tots or something or uh, when Caroline gets invited to a little boy's birthday party or something, I'll have a gift for her to bring already. So, I don't know. I had to get them because I thought they were cute. All right. I picked up some stickers. Surprise! So, I found this one. This is by Jot. And they're 69 pieces. They're glitter stickers. And I had to get it because it's summer... And you got the VW bus and the guitar. And then you got these stickers. I love summer. Say hello to summer. Enjoy the summer. Happy summer. Summer, summer, summer. And then you get alphabet letters. So really great deal. 69 stickers for a dollar. Can't beat it. Then I picked up this sticker book for Caroline. It's uh, 277 pieces. My camera's a little closer tonight, so I, I keep going. Rrr. No, but um, yeah. And this has got one sheet of the puffy stickers. I don't know if you can see that if I let it. There we go. The puffy stickers. Aren't they cute, 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 cute? And then there's these. And then there's the laser stickers that you guys know I hate. But kids love them. Caroline loves them. She loves everything stickers. And then there's a whole page of hearts. That's where you end up with 277 stickers. So there's probably 200 of these hearts. But really cute. I loved the puffy ones in the front. How cute are they? All different kinds of princesses on horses and very, very cute. So I got her those. <clears throat> and then I found these stickers, pop-up stickers. Really, really cool. I found these. You get two stickers. One says love. One's got a smiley face. And they're like, you know, reflective or whatever. I found this one. How stinking cute is this thing? So, so cute. I believe there's four in this set. These flowers are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then this one I love because I just love it. It's a happy birthday one. You get a slice of cake, a couple stars, and this giant happy birthday. These are really big stickers. I actually bought one when I bought them originally in this set, and then I was in another store and I bought another one of these because I just love it. 
you could do something nice for someone's birthday and use these great stickers. They're huge. And look at the cake with the little smiley face on it. So cute. Can't stand it. And then I got these stickers. These are puffy stickers. 35 and I don't know who makes these. There's no name on it. But aren't these just adorable? All the fun summer things, sunglasses, pineapples, drinks, popsicles. I just love them. Look at the beach umbrella. So cute and they're puffy. I got those. And then I picked up these alphabet stickers. I had not seen these before. You get 124 pieces front and back. But aren't these really nice? Black and white, but they're polka dot, they're striped, they're uh, X's on them, diagonal lines, crisscross. I just love them. And they're two-sided. Two two-sided. So you get 124 letters. I thought, oh, those are really cool. I love these. So I got those. Because I need more stickers, you know. And then these are stickers, but they're they're shipping labels. Shipping labels. I needed some of those. Because I'm going to be sending out some friend mail. Well, I have some giveaways coming up. Because I found some things that I know people are looking for. And I bought some extras. So that I can send them out. Oh, and I just wanted to say hi to Helen in South Carolina. Um, your daughter posted um, a comment on my last video and I just wanted to say, hi, Helen, how are you? She asked me to give you a shout out and I just want to say thank you for watching my channel. Pretty cool when somebody says your name on video, huh? I used to get thrilled when I would send somebody something and they open up my package and they'd say my name. I'd be like, oh my God, they said my name. Anyway, I'm a, just a weirdo, you know, what can I say? This I found in with the um, graduation stuff. Why? I don't know. But I really liked it. And I hope I can show this to you without blinding you. Because it's um, a mirrored, it's a white framed picture. Not picture, but decor piece. And I just love it. And all you can see is my, there, I'll put it on my TV. It says shine on. And it's got this gold on it. And I just loved it. There. You can see my TV on my wall. There you go. Can you see that? I love it. I just thought it was so pretty. And it, it, it's almost like a funhouse mirror. If you look at it. It's really. Yeah. If you see this. It's pretty cool. Oh. I almost had it there. Just one second. I had it for one second. Where you could really see it. All right. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Sorry, I'm trying. But I loved it, so I grabbed it, and I thought I'd show it to you. All right. Remember the story I told you about ordering online? And I ordered the um, lemon glasses, and they gave me all of the tall, skinny ones. So I ordered eight glasses four of the tall skinny ones and four of the shorter, fatter, like stemless wine glass type thing. So I returned four of the tall ones because I wanted four of the tall and four of the short. What? I found them. I was in one of my Dollar Trees and they had the whole lemon display and I got four of these glasses. I love this shape glass. It It's short and it doesn't look like it holds much, but it does hold a lot of drink. And I I just love these, lem these lemons. So I picked up four of them. So I got the four that I wanted um, from the order that I didn't get. So that was really cool. I was very excited about that. You know, because I really thought... You know, the lemon glasses had come and gone. I didn't get them. I tried to order them online and I was a little discouraged. I was like, I'm not going to try ordering them again because they'll probably just screw it up again. 
and uh so when i saw them i was like what they got the lemon display that's why when i show things you know some of the things i show you might see right away or you might see a week from now maybe it was at your store already i don't know you know i don't understand dollar tree and what they send to different stores where i think that they know that people are doing hauls and that so they put out the stuff at different times so people will keep coming back to their stores i don't know but if you see something i haul don't get discouraged if you don't find it right away because you might a week from now or two weeks from now or I don't know. So I ended up picking up four of the placemats to go with the um, lemon glasses that I got. I'm almost tempted to keep them myself because I love them so much. But my kitchen is not yellow. My kitchen is red. So I don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do. But I was really excited to find these glasses. So, so excited. And I knew you'd be excited for me. <laughs> All right, so let me get this uh, little bit of food that I got here out of the way. I picked up these Ritz Bits peanut butter crackers. Um, I was at Caroline's house one day and she got them out for a snack and she was sharing them with me. And I was like, ooh, those are pretty good. So I got some to have at Grandma's house. So when she comes, we can share them again. And then I found this cane sugar, pure cane sugar. I don't know what the difference between other sugar and cane sugar is. Um, but this is um, a product of Mexico, but it's um, distributed through some company in Arizona. It says certified clean, um, non-GMO, I don't know. Tell me down below what the difference between cane sugar and regular sugar is. But I bought this one pound bag because I said, you know what? It, even if I don't use it, I can pass this off to my son and he can use it in his coffee and he won't know the difference between cane sugar and regular sugar. So I don't know if there is a difference. But I got it. A pound of sugar for a dollar. I picked up, again, this Muller's Real Mayonnaise in the squeeze bottle. I like this. I'm a Hellman's Mayonnaise girl. Really don't buy any other kind of mayonnaise. But I bought this before and I think it's really good. So it's made with real eggs. It is a 10 ounce container. But you always use a lot more mayonnaise. I do personally in the summer making salads and stuff. So I like to keep the Hellman's in the jar for the salads and stuff. And then just use this for sandwiches. So I got that. I needed some uh, Parmesan cheese. So I picked up this uh, Kelowna grated Parmesan cheese. This is real Parmesan cheese. Um, the stuff in the bigger container that they sell in Dollar Tree is not real cheese. Um, if you read the packaging, I think it says something like cheese product or something. But this is real grated Parmesan cheese. And uh, I don't use it that often. So to spend a dollar for um, a Parmesan cheese this size is more economical for me than to buy a bigger one that's probably going to go bad before I use it all. So that is why I got that. And this is good until December 1st of 2021. So that'll last. Um, then, <clears throat> excuse me, I picked up, I hadn't seen this before, Campbell's Home Style Clam Chowder. It says ready to enjoy so you don't add any water to it. No artificial colors, but I had never seen the home style clam chowder before. And I was kind of hungry. I was on my lunch hour when I was shopping and I was like, ooh, I could go for some clam chowder. I don't know if it's, you know, clam chowder like you get in a restaurant. I'm sure it's not. But hey, if you feel like if you're home and you feel like having a little cup or bowl of clam chowder, there you go for a buck. And these are good until 
January 10th of 2023. So I could save these for the winter and have some clam chowder in the winter time. Um, then I picked up two cans of the 100% Natural Hunt Fire Roasted Diced Tomatoes. I love these. My son loves them. I picked up two cans. They are 14.5 ounce cans and they are good until June 2nd of 2022. So you got a year before you have to use these. I like to add these to different things. My son is really a lot about throwing all kinds of stuff together, like uh, ro roasted tomatoes, and he just makes these concoctions that he just loves. So I got one for me and one for him. Then I found these Libby's Diced Mango. It's a three pack of mangoes in the juice. Is it in the juice? What's it say? In extra light syrup. Um, I don't know that I like mangoes. I can honestly say I've never had one. So I don't know if I like them, but I saw Thrifty Tiffany, if you guys watch her, uh, haul these and she said, oh, these are great. Really put them in the refrigerator with a little chill and they're really good. And she just made me want to get them. So I got two packages. I figured, you know, the kids will probably like it too. I won't tell them it's mango. You know, Caroline, if I say, oh, oh yeah, it's apple pieces or whatever. She'll eat it. You know, if I say mango, she'll be like, I don't like it. So you just go, oh, here, you want some fruit or just call it fruit. That's like um, a lot of things, a lot of meats. I go, oh yeah, it's chicken. They don't know. If they think it's chicken and they like the taste of it, it can be chicken. It can be chicken. All right, that's all the food I got. And this isn't a food item, but I got it for food. I picked up a veggie brush. I realized when I had bought um, baked potatoes for baking potatoes for um, Mother's Day, I didn't have a vegetable brush. So I was using my dish brush which I ended up throwing out. Um, but so I picked this up. It's just a little veggie brush. I was hoping it came in like red, but it only came in this one green color. So I grabbed it by Cooking Concepts. Something I didn't have that I guess every home should have. Um, to, to do, where to now? Um, I got some health and beauty aid stuff. I picked up... Uh, this Tag Fine Fragrance Body Spray. Um, this one is in the scent Step Out. And this one is Midnight. And uh, I picked these up to put in my son's um, Father's Day basket. So I got those. I picked up some hair prop, hair things. I found this Simply Jewels by Scunchy, this uh, barrette. I just thought it was so pretty with the pearls and I loved it. You know, it's funny when I listen to other haulers, they call them barrettes, barrettes. We say bar, now I don't even know. Bar Barrette. I don't know. But people have different accents and different ways they pronounce things. And I crack up sometimes. Anyway. Barrette. Then I found. Now I've got myself thinking about it. I found this one. Which I thought was really pretty. It's got like a jade color with some gold flecks in it. And this one is just like a. Like a clip. Like an alligator clip type barrette barrette that's what i say so you know you could just put it in your hair and ooh, so pretty i love it you know if you're going out someplace nice getting dressed up and you're wearing something green i don't know i don't know i'm rambling now i'm rambling then i found these bobby pins just plain bobby pins but they got these beautiful 
pearls. I thought they were so pretty. And you get two of them. And then I found by the Gimme brand, these fashion head wraps. And I just thought they were so pretty. At least two of them I think are pretty anyway. This one I got very pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use this as a head wrap, but I saw another hauler use this um, for crafting purposes. She used it as like, um, you know, like, uh, like a border on something. And I said, oh, that's a great idea. I never would have thought of that. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, very cool. And then there's this one. And then this one I'm not a huge fan of, but, but you get three of them. You get three for a dollar and they're not, um, let me find this. They're not Dollar Tree brand. They're this give, gimme brand, which must be a brand name of hair product. I don't know. Comfort fit. Pretty cool. They're from Salt Lake City, Utah. GimmeBoutique.com. I don't know why these are like, I'm having some difficult, I'm having some technical difficulties here today. These were all laying nice when I got them. All right, maybe it was like that. I don't know. But these are them. Oh dear, I am rambling tonight. I found, uh, I found another um of these little sassy and chic manicure sets. You get a matchbook file, nail brush, nail clipper, cuticle pusher, and a PVC pouch. So the pouch is not part, you don't get five things, five pieces. I wouldn't consider this pouch a piece. So you get the matchstick um, files, you get the little brush, and you get the nail clippers and the cuticle pusher. But look at how stinking cute that little fox is. Ain't he cute? Cute, cute, cute. I couldn't resist them. I would gotten the unicorn ones before I showed you guys, and I was like, ooh, they have a different, a different uh, animal. So I got those. This, this I bought on a whim. I bought the Kiss Nail Gel. I have never worn fake nails in my life, but I have seen a lot of people wearing them. And one of these days, I'm going to try them. I don't know how long they'll stay on or if I'll like them. But I got the glue just in case I decide to put them on someday. It's out there. Kiss nail glue. Um, bring the salon home. Precision nail glue. Bonds in seconds. There you go. If you are a um, nail wearer, it's out there. Repairs fine tears without mess. So I guess maybe you could use it to repair your nails as well if you don't, you know, wear the fake nails. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Excuse me for messing with my hair. I hate that when haulers are always like touching their hair. It's just like, oh, put it up in a bun or something, will you please? Tired of looking at you touching your hair. All right, so I found two more, <laughs> two more new things from Wet n Wild. Um, this is the Cat Suit Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow, and I got this color. It's like a goldish. Mm, there we go. I got that color. I don't know. Somebody said they got makeup from Dollar Tree and it was all dried up. This looks like it. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Can we? Can we open it up? I don't know. It's got plastic on it. Has it got one of those things where you can open it? Give me just a moment, ladies. 
And gentlemen, while I try to open this so we can see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Oh, I got two of them. Let me show you the other one too. I got this one, which looks greenish, but when I was looking at it earlier, I thought it was blue. I don't know. We'll find out when I put it on my hand. All right. So, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I like that. See how it has that metallic look to it. I like that. I like that. And it doesn't seem to be dried out. I have heard horror stories of dried out makeup from Dollar Tree. And let me open this other one so we can check this one out too. So we can check this one out too. There's a spot here somewhere where you can rip it. They have to package everything up so tightly. It drives me nuts sometimes. It's like, why? Is it really that, you know, are people really that bad that they have to mess with stuff? I mean, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This little tape thing. These were hanging up. See on this little thing, they were just hanging on a hook. No packaging, just hanging by that little hook there. That's where I found them in my store. These, this plastic won't let go. It won't get off me. It won't get off me. All right, hang on guys. I'm sorry. Sorry I'm wasting your time. All right, so this one is, does it have a color on it? I'm terrible that, about reading, finding that. Oh God. Oh yeah. Emerald Gaze. So I guess this one is green. That's okay. Uh, I'll be happy with green as well. All right, let's see what the green looks like. Ooh, that's a dark green. That's a dark green. I like it. There's what the green looks like. Those were both of them. The other one is called... Da -da -da. You copper cat. You copper cat. I like them. I don't know what you guys think, but they would be fun. They would be fun. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so that's on my hand for the rest of the video. So, you know, be prepared. I have no uh, tissues over here or anything to wipe it off with. <clears throat> So I found some more of the um, Spa April Bath and Shower uh, infused products. I got another one of the coconut infused sponges. You guys know I opened these before. They smell fabulous. I got the coconut infused sponge. And I got another one of the coconut infused exfoliating pads. And I got... The lavender sponge. Because I got I got extras of these because what you know, add them to a gift basket. Very nice, very nice, very nice. The lavender infused um, exfoliating pad. And then they had in the lavender, but not in the coconut, the exfoliating bath mitt. And I I opened these before you but <clears throat> I opened these before for you guys, and I told you how lovely they smelled. So, I got some more. I got some more. I was excited to find them. I thought they were all gone. All right, then I got, do, do, do. I got, I got socks. What? I got socks. I found these little, um, like, slipper socks. What do they call them? Non-slip, no-slip shoe liners. They're by Juncture, and now with silicone gripper. So they're supposed to have silicone in the back so they don't slide off. But I just thought they were so stinking cute. Look at the butterflies. 
These would even just be great to wear on your feet at home, just to have something on your feet. And then these, how cute are the daisies? I love them both. Love them both. So I got both of those and these are size five to nine. And then I picked up these for little Miss Caroline. They didn't have every size, but I got her these last year and uh, she liked them a lot. And for a buck, if you can get a pair of kids sandals for a buck, even if they wear them at the pool or whatever, um, they really are decent. I mean, they're fairly um, thick. They're thicker than the, um, I think they're thicker than the um, adult ones. And I like that they have the, the back, you know, so, you know, she doesn't have to worry about it falling off. And that's adjustable, as you can see. But I thought they were cute. I wish they had had them in purple polka dots because that's her favorite color, but they only had pink. So I got those for her. And then, excuse me, I keep stepping on this piece of plastic. And I found her some underpants. I got these cute, cute, cute little underpants for her. They got cupcakes all over them. I only found two in her size. This one and this one says sunshine. What's something sunshine? What's it say? Hello, sunshine. And it's got little butterflies on it cute what dollar tree has underwear they were a dollar a pair i think that's kind of a good deal because i think like little kids underwear are pretty expensive but for a dollar i was like yeah i'm gonna get them just to have them for spares you know whatever all right where am i now i'm over here okay i'm into some crafting stuff it's not this isn't crafting but it's was in that area. I found the new animal planters and I found Cecil the crab. So cute. Let me open him up, show you what he looks like. He's just adorable and he's red, which I thought perfect for my kitchen. Isn't he cute? And there you put your plant in there. You could put fake plant in there if you want. You know, the succulents or whatever. But how cute is he? Look at these like cross-eyed. So cute. So that's Cecil. And then I found... Mm -mm -mm, for Caroline, they had... They had Otto the octopus. He's purple. He's purple. Otto the octopus. They did have some of the older ones there too, but there's little Otto the octopus. How cute is he? And he's got a little hole on the top too to put a plant in. Or she could put her pencils in there, her little markers. If, you know, we don't have to use it as a planter. She could put anything she wants in there. Her little hair things that she doesn't wear. I don't know. She could, she could use it for whatever she wants. But it's purple so she's going to love it. She doesn't even care what it is. I took her shopping the other day. Yesterday. Yesterday. And she we go past the flower section. She picks up these purple flowers. This stem of purple flowers. And she goes. Grandma smell these. And I go. Oh, they smell so nice. She goes, I'm getting these and puts them in the cart. I'm like, okay, because they're purple and they smell good. If you think they smell good, that's okay. I think they smell good too. Okay, little story there. Okay, then I got a bunch of galvanized stuff. I didn't think, excuse me, that I was going to find this stuff. Um, I thought I kind of had dropped the ball there because I hadn't been in the store in about a week and I thought I bet they came and went already because some things go really fast you know but I was able to score some of the ones that I was looking for I got this tulip and it's on a wooden base uh, I don't know if you can see that it's screwed on to a wooden base 
So you could take it off if you didn't want it on the wooden base. But I thought that was really nice. Wait, I got my, I do have my measuring tape here. This is, it's, pr it's pretty good size. It's um like six and a half inches tall. I got this um, tulip. I did just say that. I got this cute tree. Very cute. You could probably do all kinds of stuff with that. I think this is, I think these are all the same size. I'm going to measure this one too. Now this one is six inches, but I thought, how cute is that? They had a birdhouse, but I didn't really like it. It was a birdhouse, but it had this giant hole in it. It didn't look like a birdhouse. You know, a birdhouse just has a little hole. I don't know. I didn't like it, so I didn't get it. Um, so I got those two. And then I found these butterflies on this uh, jute, very thick jute cord. And look, they're like, uh, I don't know what you call that but they have sides to them. This one looks a little bent. He might need a little, he might need, he needs a little love. He's a little bent, but if you're just looking for the front or you could use him um, for something else, he's hollow here on this side, but then so cute. I got two of those because you know I get two of everything. If I like it, I get two. Because if I like it, I can give one away if I decide that I don't need to. If I only buy one and I want to give it away, that means I got to give away the one I got. And I don't always want to do that. Then I got these, which I kind of, <clears throat> I don't know. They just reminded me of a giant bottle cap. It's just like a big bottle cap. I just thought they were cool. You know, you could make some nice little signs on them. Um, you could put stickers on them. You could put uh, rub-on transfers. You could paint them. You could paint them white or black or any color you want and just do, just go wild. You don't have to leave them galvanized looking. Really, really cool. I like these a lot. Um, what are they calling them? Oh, metal bottle caps. <laughs> Well, I said, oh, I thought they looked like a bottle cap. Well, because that's what it says right on it. Metal bottle cap. Yeah, okay. And these are, yeah, six inches. These are six inches as well. And these also have the thick cord on them. And then, my friends, look at what I found. Two different ones. Two different ones. I found these trucks. Look at these chalks. These are flat, okay? And it's got the black outline on it. And I got two, of course. And then there is this one, which is like basically the same truck, only this one ha is um, raised to show the detail. Let me just show you one so you can get a real look at that. Look at that for a dollar, you guys. So there's two different ones. Trying not to. It's hard to show them because they're galvanized and the light keeps reflecting off them. And especially this one, it's hard to see the, the black on it. But look at these. What, Dollar Tree? I can't stand you because you are just getting too, too crazy for me. Get The crafting section at Dollar Tree has just exploded. I don't know whether they're getting more into that line of work or... Uh... Now, see this, let me just say, this is dry now and it doesn't rub off. Like, it doesn't... You know what I mean? Like, some eyeshadows when you rub it it like starts to come off this is like a liquid and it stays put it stays put anyway anyway back to the doll 
Um, I found these galvanized signs and I have happy. These are really hard to show. Happy. And these are also screwed on to a wood base. They're not just glued on, they're screwed on. See that? These little screws here, they're actually screwed on. So you, in order to get them off, you'd have to unscrew the thing. But I got happy. These are the only three words I saw. There's three of them. <clears throat> I got dream. Dream a little dream of me. And I got, hello. Hello. And these are, doo -doo -doo. the wood base part is, <clears throat> I don't know, I got a frog in my throat tonight. The base part is eight inches and like the word hello is like seven. Uh, let's see how big dream is. Dream is same thing. They're all eight inches, eight inch piece of wood and the word is seven inches. So there's hello, dream. This is not working out very well. Hello, dream. I was gonna try to put this in my thumbnail and I was like, no way, the reflection is not showing at all. So those three, I got very excited about that. <clears throat> and the last items I got are stationary. Excuse my reach here. Because I got this whole table covered. Well, let me see, let me just put this on my lap. I found um, an LOL six color pen either for um madeline or caroline haven't decided and it's got red orange green blue purple and black i'm assuming that is and it's got the little lols on there how cute are they and then i found minnie mouse how can you leave Minnie Mouse or anything Disney behind? How cute is that? They will just be fun. I think, I, you know what? I think I'm going to keep these at Grandma's just to have. So Grandma can use them sometimes and the kids can use them when they're here. How does that sound? Does that sound cool? Yeah, I like that idea. And then I got some Centimol, Centimol's Markers. They are two-sided, three double-ended scented markers. <clears throat> and I got this one. And they are, oh, it just says the colors. It doesn't say what, they, what smells they are. But I got this one. And I got this one, and it looks like it's the same color markers, but the animals on them are different. If you look at the back, you can see the animals and how they are different. They look a lot alike, but they're different. Because when I saw them, I was like, oh, there's two different ones. And then I looked at the colors and I was like, oh, no, they're the same. And then I looked at the animals and I was like, oh no, wait, they're different. So they are different animals on them. You get the same colors, but there's two different packaging. And like I said, different animals on there. I imagine <clears throat> the scents are the same. This one says, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my gosh. This one says centimals. And this one says centicorns so they're all unicorn type animals so that's that there we go now we figured out the real difference all right let me try and take a drink and see if i can stop making noise all right then i found another of the uh, unicorn like leather like notebook and it's um lined so if you saw this in my other video, I got one of these for um, Caroline and now I got, or yeah, Caroline and now I got one for Madeline. 
Because the last time they only had one, and this store only had one. Can I get this open without tearing the package? Let's see. I can. Okay. Now, can I get it out of the package? That's the other thing. Oh. Okay, so see, it's like a leather type material. I'm sure it's not real leather. And it's got lined sheets in it. And then the back is just plain. But how cute is that? It's like raised. It's stitched on there. So cute. So, so cute. I love it. So I had to get one for both of the girls. <clears throat> they may end up being um, stocking stuffers. Because I buy so many different types of uh, -ba notepads and stuff for them. I might just save these to put in their stockings. Because it's always good to shop early for Christmas. These are new. These are by Jot. And they're 5 by 8 notepads. You get three of them. And they're ruled. Dollar Tree usually sells these in the yellow. Um, and I, you know I love lined paper. But look at this. You get yellow, you get blue, and you get pink. You get three different colors. And you get 50 ruled sheets, I'm assuming, in each in each um, little notebook. So I really, really like those. I'm going to take one of these to work with me because I am a constant note taker. I like to, you know, write things down and, you know... I just like to keep take notes. So I got two of those. <clears throat> yes, I did. I probably would have got more if I um, was thinking about it, but I got two. So those are a great deal. Then I found this notes organizer. This is by iScholar of New York. This is not, oh, oh it does say Greenbrier on it, but... Hmm. It says IQ notes layout. So anyway, it's this notebook. Okay. And it's sideways notebook and it's good for notes. Okay. You got, um, this section over here that says Q. Um, you got your notes here. You got your date and the subject. So, you know, and then there's like a summary. I thought they were really cool. Like if you were maybe um, in a meeting or something, or you were at a training class or something, or if you were in school, I don't know. There's all kinds of uses for this. I really liked it. I thought it would be good for me and my note taking. And there are 80 sheets, 160 pages, because there's on both sides is what, they're saying 80 sheets but 160 places you can write notes and they are six by eight and a half so that's what it looks like I just thought that was really cool and new at Dollar Tree so I grabbed one of those and the last thing I got was this weekly planner you get your whole week on here oh god this light gonna drive me nuts um it's a weekly planner i gotta figure out how to stop getting the reflection i don't know i can't figure out where it's coming from i think it's coming from the camera itself not the camera i use my phone but it's coming from the phone itself that's the problem but anyway there is the design on it i thought it was pretty I'm trying to show it up close to you you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you got a little checklist. You know what? I'm going to take this out of the package. And this is by Three Birds Design. Okay, and they have a Facebook page at Three Birds Design. And they're also on Instagram. Follow us online on Facebook or Instagram. All right, there you go. There's a better view of what it looks like. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I just love it. Great way to, um, I don't know, you could put your dinner menu if you plan out your dinners for the week. 
and then you can put what you need the ingredients you needed um, you could put your kids um, school functions on here you could put uh, a doctor and dentist and other appointments on there just so you have your week written down and you know what's going on uh, does it say I like the flowers see the flower design there really pretty they had, I think, like four different ones, and I just picked up one. Can you believe it? I picked up one. It's got 30 sheets, and it is 9.75 by 7.75. And I will put that in a package, back in the package, another day. So I did have, get two things of friend mail last week. Well, one of them, I think, came this week, and the other one... Um, no, actually, when I went to the post office on Saturday, both of these were at the post office. I got one envelope and one box. Now, this is from Amazon, so I I don't know who it's from. I opened it up, but I don't know who it's from. This is from C. Dubon in Plattsburgh, New York. And look at, look at the cutie, cutie, cutie kitty cat sticker on there. Oh, pink kitty in there on the back and the butterfly so cute and this I opened already and inside is giveaway cards good thing you ladies sent these in from Chantel Dumont and Aaron Hicks um good thing you guys sent these in because I'm going to do a couple of giveaways it's been too long since I gave away to you guys and it's just time um why don't you guys do me a favor in the comments down below let me know what you would like me to give away what do you think should be in my next giveaway i do have something that i found that i that i've heard everyone is looking for and can't find that is definitely going to be given away that is either in my next haul or the one after that because i found it in two different stores so i got a few so I can give them away. But thank you, Chantel and Aaron. I will put these in my giveaway basket. Good luck to you both. And then I got this box from Amazon. I got this box from Amazon. And my son goes, oh, who's it from? I said, I don't know. Amazon. It doesn't say on the outside of the package when you order from Amazon who it's from. So... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see what we got in here. All right. Uh, hold on. There's some couple pieces of paper in here. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. Send a thank you now. A gift for you. Enjoy your gift from Marsha's Mush and Stuff. Love watching your videos. Hope you cuddle up this cutie. From Marsha Ryan. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Okay. Did you, I imagine you've heard that a gazillion times in your life. Let's see what this is. It's a blanket, it says. I can't wait to see what it looks like. It's a pretty blue color, I know that. Oh, boy. Oh. Look at what I see. Flamingo legs. Oh, it's very soft, Marsha. Thank you so much. I love blankets. I have an obsession with blankets. I have an obsession with blankets. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Blanket. Look at this. Well, I'm trying to show you, and I... I'm not doing a very good job. All right, let me stand up. Look at the blankets got flamingos on it. I love it. Oh, it's so soft. Thank you so much, Marsha. I'm going to wrap them in it right now. This is the perfect blanket for the summer, too. It's, um... It's lightweight, but I bet it's warm, too. And my air conditioning is on. And, you know, I'm not a fan of air conditioning. I like to be cool, but I don't like to be so cold in the air conditioning 
that I'm cold. This is gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Marsha. I love it. Absolutely love it. This is awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. You guys are so kind. You really are. You're I'm just unbelievable. I do have one other thing that I got in the mail today. This is from um, Autumn. Her and I, um, when I told you guys, did I tell you guys or did I put it on Facebook? I think I put it on Facebook. Um, maybe I told you too about how we, Caroline and I opened up the 10 packages of the tie boxes, the um, Paw Patrol tie boxes, and we got 10 of the same guys, Zuma. So uh, my friend Autumn from, isn't her address isn't on here, right? Okay. My friend Autumn from Pennsylvania um, got a hold of me. I think she got talked to me through Messenger, said that she had extra skies and she needed the Zuma. So we did a switch. So this came in the mail today. It's um, it's the uh, Sky figure and it's for Caroline. So I'm not going to open this. I mean, I obviously already opened it, but um, I'll just read the card. How's that? And then Autumn, when Caroline comes over, I'm going to, you know, do a video and have her open it. And she's going to be like, oh, it's Sky, Because, you know, she gets so excited. And there's a little note inside. It'll get a little smiley face. Lemon. Kathy and Caroline, I'm so happy I get to help you with your set of Paw Patrol toys. My mom and I both love watching your Dollar Tree videos on YouTube. You and Caroline have such a close relationship and it's so nice to see. So nice to see. Caroline is very lucky to have such an involved and caring grandma. Keep up the awesome DT. DT Halls, your fan, Autumn Jones. I just want to say one thing. Could she write any nicer? Look at that writing. You have beautiful handwriting, Autumn. I just want to say that. Beautiful handwriting. But thank you. We will open this when Caroline is here and she will get a huge kick out of Finding Sky. So thank you very much for that. And thank you, uh, Chantel and Aaron, for your entries. And Marsha, I love, love, love this blanket. You are so awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you guys saw something that you liked. Um, and get yourself out to the Dollar Tree and find it. Because it's coming. If it's not there right now, right this minute, um, it, it'll be there soon. So... Get yourself to Dollar Tree and find whatever you're looking for that I found. Hope you all have a great night. It's getting late. Got to get to bed. Oh, tomorrow is mom's big move. We're moving mom to another um, assisted living facility. And tomorrow is the day. I'm taking the day off from work. All my, my brothers and sisters that are in the area are going to help her move. So that is what's going on tomorrow. Um... Yeah, so she's looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it, hoping she's going to be happier and more successful at this uh, facility. But yeah, um, so that's where I'll be and that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I hope you all have a great tomorrow and a great night and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.